This footage is from the Atkins Foundation video on hidden sugars. I couldn't get the audio quality good, so I'm going to do a little narration on their slideshow of lies. First, they claim that more than two teaspoons of sugar is, quote, toxic. Then, they say that your body has to, quote, scramble in order to store sugar in the cells, which they say immediately converts to fat. The amount of disinformation and reductionism is disgusting. Then they go on to say that your body gets tired of scrambling to store the sugar in the cells, and eventually that's what causes prediabetes and type 2 diabetes and insulin resistance. Let's try to cut through some of the reductionism and deception by reading directly from the peer-reviewed research. Insulin resistance is a complex metabolic disorder that defies explanation by a single etiological pathway. It is well established that muscle insulin resistance arises in conditions of high fatty acid availability. That's fat in your bloodstream. Where does that fat come from? Maybe it's the fat you eat. It's pretty well established that fat, specifically saturated fat, causes insulin resistance, but they just ignore that and choose to demonize healthy carbohydrates in general, such as potatoes, which they claim elicit the same blood sugar response as nine teaspoons of sugar. They, talk, they say other bad things about oatmeal and brown rice as well. It's clear that rather than give you the complete information about what causes insulin resistance, they'd rather just run with the good old fashioned carbs make you fat, carbs cause diabetes line. And what do they suggest that you eat instead? Of course, it's lean proteins and healthy fats, because they're very low in hidden sugars. And they claim that this will keep you healthy and lean and will help you prevent diabetes. The good news is, you no longer have to accept mediocre health information. You can reject the reductionism and disinformation provided by the well-funded and industry-connected Atkins Foundation. You can do your own research at sites like nutritionfacts.org and find out what really causes insulin resistance. You can break the low-carb cycle of yo-yo dieting and depending on stimulants like coffee for energy. My suggestion is you jump on a whole foods plant-based diet and eat healthy carbohydrates and enjoy them.